Hey everyone, so I'll be giving a talk at our studio conf on Suba, which is a port of dplyr to Python. Uh, I just put my code up on GitHub, so I thought it'd be helpful to walk through and just show running it in our studio, or you can also click here to run in the browser. So it's at mhow slash 2021 our studio conf talk. And I have it pulled up here in our studio. It's just an R markdown file. Uh, there's a little bit of setup with Reticulate, which is a R library for running Python code. Um, and then here's some dplyr code. So um, it takes the empty cars data, groups by a column called cylinder, and then calculates an average. Um, and it's pretty quick to convert this R code to Python. So what we do is we write from suba import uh, star. So that gets all the functions we need. And then from suba.data import empty cars. That's the data set, and it's a pandas data frame. And then here we're going to put parentheses around the code. This is a Python syntax thing. And then change the pipe to greater than greater than. And put underscore dot before the column names. And then the last trick is rather than using this mean call, we need to use what's called a method. So underscore dot hp dot mean. And this just refers to a pandas method, which is a tool for data analysis in Python. So now we run the code. And we went from dplyr in R to suba in Python, all in our studio, which I think is really wild. Um, the other thing is, so if you click this launch binder link, it will open a R studio session in the browser, which is absolutely bananas. Um, and you can run and test it there. I think some notes to just give on suba is, uh, it can also generate SQL queries for your code and works really well with a port of ggplot to Python called plot9. So I'm looking forward to the talk and the Q&A and happy to answer any questions about Suba. Thanks.